Hello? Are you lost? No. I'm searching for a woman. In a red kasa hat. Sugi. Been a man and woman living next door. His name's Sampe. Didn't catch us. Thank you. Locked. Still warm. Someone is living here. You're looking for me? Why? I mean you no harm, Sugi. My name is Jin. I was sent to warn you. The vessel that fired on your village belongs to someone named Yamaneko. I need your help to stop them. They know I'm here. That means... Should we leave? Draw them away? No! No! We don't know anything! It's too late. Pack our things. Be ready to go when I return. Come with me, Jin. Come back to me. I'll avoid unnecessary risk. There's a first time for everything, I suppose. Sugi! Yamaneko sends his regards. <laughs> Sebe! You always were his lapdog. <laughs> How do you like our new allies? Soon, we'll be the most powerful crew on this island. Kill them all! <laughs> 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 Yamaneko's crew are careful, well armed, only dock at a specific time and location. I take it you've met. I was his first mate, kept him from indulging his worst tendencies, for a time. When I met Sampe, I didn't want to be that person anymore. But you don't just leave Yamaneko. Tell me where his ship docks. I'll handle them. We work together, or not at all. Hmm. <laughs> just remember that goes both ways. You're good with a blade. I have an idea we might be able to pull off, but I need to scout around first. Track down an old contact. There's an abandoned fishing village to the west. I'll meet you there. Good luck. Hmm. <laughs> you too.
This is the place Sugi mentioned. Where is she? More of Yamaneko's crew. I'll deal with them. It had to be done. You'll be free soon. Thank you, my lord. That was quite a sight. You're not a samurai or ronin. What exactly are you? Someone like you. Who knows what it's like to be hunted. I scouted the cove. Yamaneko's crew are trading captives for Mongol watchers. Treasonous slavers. We can't let them have more Mongol weapons. Yes. We'll need to split up. Distract the forces on the beach. I'll take a boat out. I've been slipping aboard ships undetected since I was a child. If Yamaneko is as dangerous as you say... He's my responsibility. Yamaneko is... my brother. Killing your own family. It's harder than you could ever imagine. Yes. All right. I'll head up the coast to where the Mongols and raiders are camped. Find some way to deal with them all. I can take over their watchers. And even the odds for you. Good. If we make it look like the raiders have betrayed the Mongols, they should turn on each other. I'll send you a signal of where to aim. Hmm. A little flower into their campfire will make it flare. Good luck, Sugi. Hmm. You too. There's a lookout post nearby. I can't leave until... I'll take care of them first. Meet me on the northern coast afterward. Once night falls, Sugi can row out to the ship. Better look around. This alliance ends here. I'll use that campfire to signal Sugi, director of watch attack. Yamaneko's crew and the Mongols, working together. Time to signal Sugi.
제유합사 Mongols against Yamaneko's crew. Sugi up the coast to the north. Thank you. 
No sign of Suki's boat. Hope Sugi wasn't on board. A red Kasa hat. Farewell, Sugi. I wish you better fortune in the afterlife. I should return to Sugi's husband and tell him what happened. You're no samurai, climbing around like a monkey. Your samurai armor will shield you from your own mind. What shall I play for this one, to calm him down? My mother taught me the song doesn't need to be simple to be calming. Before we knew she was sick, my mother would sit alone, watching the deer. I climbed on her, trying to get her attention, till my father scolded me for disturbing her. She smiled, holding up my chin, and said, Peace doesn't always come quietly. I don't think either of us understood what she meant. What happened here? Oh, <laughs> 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 
will take back your castle and destroy the Mongols as honorable samurai. This has to end. The way where? To Cloud Forest Temple. They say we can eat plenty and find a safety with the Eagle Tribe. There is no safety with Mongols. If they're spreading lies, I will find this temple and put a stop to it. Who are you? Thought I knew every face on Iki. Just a traveler. Stranded here by the Eagle Tribe. You're welcome to join us. If you want to hear an old man complain about the past. We survived one invasion, and we can do it again. Or have you all forgotten how much we suffered at the hands of the samurai? That was nothing compared to the danger we face now. Nonsense. You're too young to know anyway. It's past time. I remind you all about the dark days of the samurai invasion. About the brutality of Kazumasa Sakai. Fifteen years ago, our home was invaded by an army of ruthless samurai. Their leader was Kazumasa Sakai, the butcher of Iki. He rode to battle atop his demonic beast, shielded with armor as black as his master's heart. Luckily, the butcher made a grave mistake when he came to Iki. He brought his whelp of a son. Our bravest warriors hunted the boy, not to kill, but to tempt his bloodthirsty father. Kazumasa gave chase and rode into a trap. His armored horse met a grisly end. But the butcher and his runt son survived, then fled like cowards. Enough of these lies. That is not what happened. I lived near Senjo Gorge. I saw it with my own eyes. So did I. Who are you? My name is Jin Sakai. Kazumasa Sakai was my father. He gave his life trying to help this island. Help! He murdered us! Your people repaid his help by murdering him. Is that why you're here? To avenge your father and take my head? You may be a liar, but you are not my enemy. Not yet. Stop this! You're acting like wild dogs! I came here to help, not for revenge. 
You mentioned my father's horse armor. After he died, we never recovered it. We know. Tell me where it is, and I can use it to ride against the Eagle tribe. I would die before I help a samurai. It's time you leave. something about my father's horse armor, but he'll never tell me. Unless I listen in on him, without being seen. You're not welcome here. Uh. One more word about noble samurai, and then... What about the rest of your story? Ah, yes. I was just getting to the good part. Kazumasa fell for our trap and lost his armored horse. As our warriors closed in, the butcher and his boy fled into Senjo Gorge. The samurai limped through the canyon and ran headfirst into an ambush. There was no grand battle. Only a few raiders with dull blades, but that was all it took. One swing to end the life of Kazumasa Sakai. While the samurai slunk home, we recovered the armor from Kazumasa's mount. Over the years, our finest horses wore that armor. Every one of them killed its rider, as if Possessed by the Butcher's vengeful spirit. So we sold his horse's armor to the Ida merchant family. The cursed armor left our shores aboard the merchant fleet as a storm descended on our island. The sky roared with the thunder of a thousand charging samurai, and the raging tempest shattered the Ida ships against our rocky coastline. The ruins of that doomed fleet still choke Zasho Bay. And somewhere in that watery graveyard lies the cursed armor once worn by the horse of Kazumasa Sakai. This horse armor is still lost in Zasho Bay. Armor should be on the merchant's lead ship, marked by the Ida family banner. Was it gold or red?
of Kazuma's of Sakai is real. Once your horse wears this armor, he will feel your father's terrible bloodlust, and he will kill you. Father's horse armor. We'll see if it fits Kage. Curse or not, you wouldn't throw me, would you, boy? No. You look just like my father's horse. May this armor protect you in battle. <coughs> the Eagle Tribe, they found the survivor's camp. Come, Kage!
samurai. Impossible. Your horse is that? The horse armor of Kazuma Sasaki, restored to his son, and cursed no more. After everything I said, you saved us. There's a new threat on Iki. I saved you from these Mongols because I was raised to help those in need. Raised by Lord Shimura. And the man you call Butcher. I can't forgive your father. But as for his son... You're more merciful than he ever was. I never thought I would say this, but... Thank you, Lord Sakai. That's my Kage. going to the camp at Nagata Lake. Raided by Mongols. Did any survive? They did. Our monk gave himself as ransom to save us. But without his skills, we're done anyway. If he's still alive, I can bring him back to help you. That will be worth it. Hello, traveler. I see you're not from these parts. Thought I knew every raider worth a damn on this island. Whose crew are you on? I prefer to work alone. My name's Jin. I'm Subaki. Make my living in the dye trade for horse armor. I recovered some horse armor recently. Once worn by the Mount of Kasuma Sasaki. I heard that armor's cursed. If your horse doesn't kill you, Maybe we can help each other. Seen any Sakai banners in your travels? The weathers stripped them of color, so now they're as white as death. The people of Iki used them to mark places where the samurai suffered humiliating defeats. Someone should take them down. Let those old wounds heal. So we can focus on the fight ahead of us. Nice idea. Might even work. But I'm in it for the cloth. Bring me those banners, and I'll use them to test my new dyes. Might even have some left over for you. More than a fair trade. Take care, Tsubaki.
walking. What do you need? Shh. I'm not supposed to talk to anyone. I am Ito. The caretakers are keeping me here. Others too, including my brother. They won't let us leave. What do you mean? Who are these caretakers? Look around you. They're all followers of the monk Zenshin. His speeches have convinced many to serve the Eagle tribe. A monk? Allied with the Mongols? It's madness. The people here believe him. I'm playing along so they don't lock me away. I can get you out of here. Your brother and the others too. Oh, thank you. Just please don't hurt the caretakers. They're good people. Misled by Zenshin's words. All right. I'll act like I want to join them. And see if I can find the other prisoners from inside their ranks. They say the way is through service. Maybe that will help. Zenshin is about to speak, but only to caretakers. Head up this path, and you can listen without being seen. We have to stop talking. They'll see us. Locals following the Eagle tribe. I should see what I'm walking into. Keep walking. Go away. We have our own troubles. supplies. Enough to make this temple the Eagle Tribe's new stronghold in the south. These caretakers seem happy and relaxed. Is it all a lie? Is this the monk Zenshin? At first, the Eagle showed me nightmares. Our people suffering after the samurai invasion, starving and begging for help I couldn't give. Nightmares. Has he also tasted the eagle's poison? Now, the eagle has shown me a new way, 
Through serving her tribe, she offers visions of plenty, of peace. Tonight, the Eagle Tribe comes to put our fears to rest. Prepare the way! The Eagle Tribe is coming tonight. I need to feed the captives before they arrive. I should blend in and ask around, find out where they're holding the prisoners. Peace, friend. I am the Warden here. I have been serving Zenshin since he saved my family from the Samurai. What brings you to our temple? I'm a friend of Ito. She told me of Zenshin's wise words. If you like, I can help guard the prisoners. They are not prisoners, but spirits lost in turmoil. We watch over them until they see the way. But that duty is not for you. And soon it will not be for any of us. The Eagle Tribe is satisfied with our efforts. Tonight, the Mongols will come to reward our good work and occupy this temple. If they take this temple, they could use it to spread the Eagle's word across the entire island. Or beyond. One can only hope. For now, we must hurry to make the final preparations. Walk among us. See if any of our caretakers need a hand or a kind word. Thank you for this opportunity, brother. Why do you struggle? These people want to join me. Soon, you will too. Caretakers may not enter. Sisters, be safe here with Senshin passes. Why would you say such a thing? Who brought you here, friend? I usually assign caretakers. The Warden told me to lend a helping hand. I've come to protect Zenshin's way. Then you are welcome here, brother. Zenshin's way will guide us to peace and prosperity. I know this. But not everyone believes as we do. I heard you bring people here to help them find the way. The poor souls in turmoil, yes. Where are you keeping them? Safely away from the caretakers. Eventually, whether peasant girl or blustering warrior, they all want to join us. Continue your service, brother. No entry. I understand. I only wish to be of service. I'm to prepare food for the ones in turmoil. Hmm. Not all are allowed in. Or out. This building has a story to tell. Captives can't free them now without bloodshed. I should return when fewer eyes are watching. I've learned what I can. I'll wait for the right moment to free the captives. Look, a new brother. Let's have a look at you. Peace, friends. Mind if I rest here for a moment? Join us. 
But if you're looking for a drink, you'll need to find your own sake. It's a wonder more don't come here willingly. Once the eagle arrives, my family will no longer worry how I'll fill my belly. Or my cup! With service, the only price. I need to act now, while they're still sleeping. They are already free. You are the one trapped by your fear. To save you. It's a test. They want to see if we know the way. No, no test. I'm here to free everyone held here against their will. Have you seen a woman named Ito? No, no one by that name. Hmm. She must be in another building. The Eagle Tribe is here. <laughs> Now the Mongols are their keepers. Care of the guards. Then you can escape. Their moon by Starla. My brother. I'll tell him you're waiting by the stairs. Go there when it's safe, and you can return home together. And the rest? They're fools, but they don't all deserve the Eagle Tribe's cruelty. I will stop the Mongols, and I will speak with Zenshin to make sure this never happens again. Please show him kindness. He's a good man. Or he was, until the Eagle came. Before another Mongol spots you. I have to stay. I snuck out to find my sister. You too? Yes. How did you know? I've already freed her. Go. She's waiting for you by the stairs. Oh, better than I could have hoped. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Now for Zenshin. He must be in the temple. Negium <laughs> Harsinda! I have done all you asked! Gah! Give me peace! I'm not the eagle. You're safe. She's not here. But she did give me this... poison, too. I can still hear her inside my head, building up my fears to make me feel small. But I won't allow it. And neither will you. Tell me what you see. Child crying. His home burned by samurai. Begging me for food I do not have. I tried to stop it. I tried. I can't bear this alone. You won't have to. Not tonight. Her voice is still there, but fainter. The things I did, the promises I told my followers. What have I done? What the Eagle wanted. Now you can tell your people the truth. How the Eagle tribe twists our minds with fear and lies to make us their willing servants. If I can undo it, I will. Then I will leave the temple behind. Until I can no longer hear her voice. I hope you find peace soon, Zenshin. Thank you. I hope whatever truth haunts you, you won't face it alone.